Hello everybody, this is Flans from Makeup Flans and welcome to the personality reading of someone that you guys have been requesting quite a bit, aka 17's Mingyu, Kim Mingyu. We're going to be getting into how he acts on camera and who he truly is as a person. So let's just dive straight in and I'm going to start shuffling. So I normally cut out most of the shuffling, you know, naturally to save time so you don't have to listen to me shuffle the whole time. But um, the cards are acting funny. There's something about his energy that like, he's hungry. I also forgot to mention I decided to add another pile in the middle to show a buffer. Like, you know, the cross between who he is really and who he truly acts like to kind of represent those times that we might be seeing parts of his real personality shining through. Okay, so first starting off with the first pile, we're gonna talk about how he acts on camera. Six of Swords, Reverse, Ace of Swords, Nine of Pentacles, Queen of Pentacles, and the Moon. So there's a whole lot of playing dumb here. Like, not even in, in the sense of roasting him. I, sometimes he really can be airheaded, but Mm, I would say maybe 60, 40, 60% 60 of the time he's faking and maybe 40% of the time it's real. It's always acting confused when in reality, like it doesn't really align because he comes up with pretty, pretty sharp ideas sometimes. He's actually way smarter than he's letting on when it comes to being on camera, in specific Queen of Pentacles, he appears and shows himself off as, you know, really caring and concerned with others. Almost like, you know, the mom from the domestic kind of vibe. Six Swords Reverse tells me that he often enjoys having other people along with him, especially when it comes to screen time, because it allows him to kind of bounce more of himself off of them, which reflects great on both of them, but it benefits him also, if that makes any sense. Which obviously it's not like a bad thing because they're idols, they gotta make money, this is their business. But it seems like at least this personality he puts on for the camera is not necessarily too far out of the park, but it's something magnified. So we're just gonna switch straight over to how he truly is and then we'll talk about what's going on in the middle of the buffer zone. So how he truly is, seven of wands, reverse, two of wands, three of swords, eight of pentacles, and the king of swords. So he can be arrogant, for sure. He can be arrogant, super smart, but the king of swords in nature sometimes can be a pretty unforgiving character when he is slighted, which would make sense for him being stubborn. Not so much the type to like blow up and go off on people, but can be super stubborn and ice them out whenever things don't always go his way. Eight of Pentacles, he's probably pretty smart when it comes to figuring out his role. And it kind of goes to show that it like, it makes sense that he can fit himself into any box. Even if that comes to him like acting like and who he has to be as an idol. He's really good at studying to pick up on who he should portray himself as or who he would like to portray himself as. He's kind of calculating, but not as calculating as one would assume. Three of Swords, he's probably not nearly as talkative as you know he can seem sometimes then again in my opinion being a carrot myself and having watched them for this amount of time Mingyu's not really super talkative but he's not really quiet either at least from what we see he portrays three of swords tells me that he might just not do too much talking this also maybe could indicate medical problems but this is a personality reading so unless he happens to have a lot of injuries like you know significant injuries i would not be too concerned about that moving forward two of ones he can also mm, what's strange here is that despite being as mm, how do i say kind of cut and dry and harsh he can also be probably pretty indecisive it's always weighing like okay which option could get me more benefit that i mean naturally i'm sure some of you guys might be surprised because his personality really isn't as conflatively negative as it would have seemed and seven of wands reverse. Well, there we have a bit of a an issue because this kind of signifies to me that he is pretty good at running from his problems, ignoring them, whether it be active or passive. I feel like he more so does a mixture of both, 
of whatever is going on, like what, even if it involves himself and his inner demons, it's not his motherfucking problem to deal with. Can't do it. But overall, I don't know. I can't, I swear, it's at least every one of these audio readings. I don't know what I was expecting. Let's talk about the buffer zone. And then we'll talk about the overall bottoms. Nine of swords, eight of cups, and the tower reverse. Overall bottoms, page of wands, three of cups, and peeking out is the lovers. So I could see him having some anxiety. Some of it feels more so like worry, like what if he's showing too much of his true self off? Or what if he's, you know, conflating his more, I guess, chosen idol personality too much? So there's always this worry about balance for him. Uh, yet again, the Tower of Earth just kind of tells me that whatever problems go on aren't his problems. So he could have a tendency to go start fires and leave them after they're ignited. And just, you know, be right a part of the crowd to just be like, I don't know who started the fire. In the sense, that could not be so terrible, but it does give a lot of shit starter tendencies, which is quite annoying. It seems like, uh, money-wise, he'll probably never have any problems, so there really should not be any worry there for him, which is kind of annoying, but it doesn't seem like he's a menace to society, you know? Uh, the Nine of Cups tells me that for the most part, he's a generally somewhat feeling like a happy-go-lucky kind of person in between. He might not really tend to dwell on things that make him sad only because they probably end up consuming him. So I'm not going to reach as far as to say that there's toxic positivity, but he has this, it's the same feeling that I get from like Jungkook is that he has like this padlock on his emotions and he just doesn't know if he'll ever get access to the key. But he somewhat feels comfortable living that way because there's a fear of seeing what's inside also indicated by the seven of ones reverse he also might be a romantic i mean the lovers but it feels a little shallow to me it feels a little shallow but uh, i don't know there was really nothing too buck wild about this or i mean in my opinion i'm also channeling so i might not even remember half of what i say until i have to listen to it back to edit up this recording but that's it for me if you would like by your request please drop in you know the ask box if you would like to see a full profile on what mingyu is like a lover and um in the next episode we are likely going to be dealing with another character who was highly requested so thank you so much for listening if you can't get down with the get down don't get down with fuzz Brr.